In this video, we're gonna look at over 15 serious shortcuts you can add to your smart home, and I'll show you how you can use them throughout your day. I've asked other YouTubers and followers on my Instagram how they use Siri shortcuts in their smart home to give you some good ideas as well. This video is broken down into four sections of what time of day these shortcuts can run, but the concepts can be applied to any time of the day. Chapters will be available in the description below if you want to skip around to certain times of the day. The Eden automations are really cool, so make sure to stick around to the very end of the video to check those out. So starting off with the shortcuts that you can do in the morning. After turning off my alarm, a series shortcut runs that turns on my dining lights to a warm white at 50% brightness. The warm white helps to not hurt my eyes while I get ready for the gym. Later in the morning, my wife likes to curl her hair before work and she has anxiety about leaving the curling iron turned on while we're away. So we put a smart plug on it so we can easily see if the plug is on or off from our phone. She typically turns off the plug at about 7.45 a.m. and at 7.50 a.m. a shortcut runs that checks to see if the plug is still turned on. If it is, I receive a notification on my phone via push cuts that says the curling iron has been left on. Then I can press and hold and then tap and it'll turn off the smart plug. Now let's see how other people start their day starting with Shane Watley. Hey Adam, so my favorite shortcuts are typically those that involve my home kit, smart home setup to some degree. And uh, the one that I really love is the one that I use in the morning. It's called start my day. Let me just go ahead and show you real quick how it works. Hey Siri, start my day. Good morning. Today's date is August 19th, 2021. It currently feels like 102 degrees on this Thursday in Lexington. You can expect a high of 92 and a low of 75 for the day. There's a 20% chance of rain today. There are no events on your calendar today. Okay, Shane, would you like to listen to some music this morning? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, have a great day. And music starts playing. Turn that off so Adam doesn't get a copyright strike. So this works great, gives me all the information I need to start my day and it works based on the location that I'm currently in. I'll give Adam a link to this shortcut in case you wanna download it as a good starting place and you can kind of build it and customize it for yourself. Thanks Adam. If you're only getting started with Siri shortcuts or you just find it really hard to get out of bed in the morning, you should definitely try this good morning routine. This handy shortcut plays everything through your HomePod mini and Siri will read you the weather including the day's highs and lows. It will set a number of HomeKit devices, including scenes within HomeKit itself, as well as read you the news using the RSS feed. There's also a way to make Siri speak whatever you want him to say, and you can also play the radio as well so that you are refreshed and definitely woken up first thing in the morning. You can use other accessories like NFC tags to trigger Siri shortcuts. I put one in my kitchen and I use a HomePod mini to run a time conditional music automation. When I scan the tag, the shortcut checks the time of day, lights will change colors, and the HomePod will play a certain playlist at a certain volume depending on the time of day. If it's before 9am, the lights will be a cool white and it will play chill music quietly. If it's between 9am and 5pm, then the lights will be a daylight white and it will play my favorites playlist at a medium volume. And anytime after 5, the lights will change change to a warm white and play smooth jazz at a low volume. If you want to see a step-by-step -step breakdown of how I set this shortcut up, then let me know down in the comments below and I'll make a video about it. Now let's check out shortcuts that you can use during the day. My Apple Watch changes watch faces and puts a little shortcut on my home screen so I can easily run shortcuts from my watch or even open up the home app and control my devices and run scenes. It's much faster than having to press the digital crown and then having to find the app and open it. Whenever I need to go somewhere, I sometimes will take my wife's car since her car has CarPlay. With CarPlay, I can use another Siri shortcut that when my car connects to CarPlay, it will turn off the devices in the house, then ask me what I want to listen to. CarPlay can be slow at times, so sometimes it's faster if you just turn off everything yourself, but it's really cool watching everything turn off on its own and my phone ask me what I want to play. Since there isn't a HomeKit widget to control your devices, here is another option that you can do. By using widgets, you can easily control your HomeKit devices straight from your home screen instead of having to open up the Home app. Create an if-then statement for a device so it'll either turn on or off with a tap. 
You can also check on the status of a device with just a tap. I did this for my front door and it will tell me if it's locked or unlocked, then give me the option to unlock or lock the door depending on what the current status is. If you have HomeKit cameras, then you can use the app HomeCam to view the live stream of multiple cameras at once. HomeCam is about five bucks for the app and shout out to Tech with Tony on Instagram for this idea. A free alternative is to use the Eve app. You can create a shortcut to show you all of your cameras in vertical or horizontal view. I recently got a small TV from my office and an Apple TV and you know I had to automate it. With a serious shortcut on my home screen, I'm able to open apps like Disney Plus, show me the remote, and play and pause a show. It can't open specific shows, which is a bummer, but it can still open certain apps like Disney Plus or Netflix, which I will take. With a feature called back tap, you double tap the back of your iPhone and you can quickly open up your apps. And with a triple tap, you can play and pause your show or run other automations. I'm currently watching the Imagineering story on Disney Plus and it's been awesome to see how Disney was made. Moving into the afternoon, this is where I like to catch up on the news or watch live shows. In my bedroom, I have an antenna that I use to watch live TV like my local news and other shows. Instead of having to use a remote to switch inputs, cause this takes way too long and I often lose the remote, I put a Siri shortcut on my home screen to easily switch the inputs with a tap. So one button can display the live TV and another button can switch to the Apple TV. There is a bit of a delay switching to the Apple TV, but still, this is really cool. I like to take naps in the afternoon and I use a Siri shortcut to automate my sleep setup. Now I currently don't have a way to automate my blinds, but let's see an idea from Hey Techie on how you can automate your blinds and other devices with SwitchBot. My favorite device that works with Siri shortcuts is the SwitchBot line of products. My favorite three are the SwitchBot curtains, which allows you to use Siri shortcuts to open and close your curtains just using your voice. If you've got the SwitchBot bot, you can use that to press any number of light switches or even coffee makers. But my personal favourite is that if you use the SwitchBot hub, it also doubles as an IR blaster, which means that you can control any IR device using Siri shortcut commands. So for example, I've also integrated that with my robot vacuum cleaner. One of the reasons that this is so great is that it's directly integrated into the SwitchBot app, so it's really, really easy to set up. You don't even need any Siri shortcut knowledge to make this one work. I don't have a SwitchBot, but I use a Siri shortcut to get my room ready for napping. My bedroom lights will turn off, the fan will turn on, ocean sounds will play on my HomePod mini, and it will set a timer for 20 minutes. Now this does set a timer on your phone and not on your HomePod, unfortunately. To take this to the next level, you can do what user HomeKit Home did from Instagram and created a baby nap shortcut. Lights will dim over time from 50% to 0%, play music and auto pause the music after 20 minutes, and disable doorbell alerts if somebody is not home. This is all done through Home Assistant, so if if you have Home Assistant, then you'll be able to create this crazy automation. Later in the afternoon, I'll make a cup of coffee. I'll get the water, put a pot in, hit brew, and then use an NFC tag to set a timer on my phone, and then my HomePod minis will announce whenever the coffee is ready. Your coffee is ready, Adam. Don't forget the half and half. As the day winds down, it's time to get some grub. So let's check out how Brad Lloyd uses a pretty cool shortcut for dinner time with his kids. Thanks for inviting me to share one of my favorite shortcuts, Adam. I'm the Brad Lloyd and my channel is focused on home kit tech. With two kids, life can get pretty busy. When dinner's ready, the intercom feature is helpful, but I take this a step further by using a shortcut to flash the lights in her kid's bedroom, announce through their HomePod minis that it's dinner time, Ashlyn and Beckett, it's dinner time, come downstairs. And finally, set the right lighting scene and play some background music. This shortcut is easy to set up. You will need the Signals for HomeKit app, which can be downloaded for free for basic features. From the Signals app, I've created a signal that flashes my upstairs lights five times. I use red in any of my colored lights to really get the kids' attention. What I like about using the Signals app is that it returns the lights to their previous date once the shortcuts run. I add two scenes into the shortcut. One is my dinner time scene for lights and background music, and another is named Kids' Attention that calls the kids through their HomePod minis. For this, I recorded a voice memo on my iPhone, and then I imported it to the music app on my Mac. The shortcut's simple and I named it Time to Eat. It's gonna set my kids' attention scene, set my dinner time scene, and then finally, run my dinner time signal. It saves us time and avoids us having to holler upstairs to call for the kids. There's really so much that you can do with shortcuts. 
Thanks again, Adam. Keep up the great work with your channel. Back to you. Thanks, Brad. One of my favorite foods to eat is pizza. And whenever I'm making it at home, I'll use a pizza timer shortcut that sets a timer on my watch. And then my kitchen lights will flash red whenever the pizza is ready. After dinner, Josh from the channel Tech Up uses a multi-step series shortcut to shut down his house. Thank you, Adam, so much for letting me be part of this collaboration. My name is Josh and I run Tech Up, which is a futuristic tech smart blog channel. Now I'm gonna be showing you my favorite shortcut, which is called the Evening Standard. I set this up myself. It changes my watch face, it sets my home security, turns on my Apple TV, and sets the mood in the living room. And then on top of that, opens the Dayview app, which shows me my Twitter feed and my HomeKit cameras. This shortcut is really easy to set up by using the home automations and the Apple TV remote automations in shortcuts. This shortcut does require the M2 hub from Aquara, which you can pick up on Amazon or at your local Apple store, and the Dayview app, which you can find on the Apple TV. Adam will be kind enough to link everything that I featured in my favorite shortcut down below in the description. So go and check that out, give us a follow, and yeah, thanks for watching our little section of our favorite shortcuts. My good night routine is similar, but I use Siri to control a non HomeKit light. I have a smart light in my bathroom that does not work with HomeKit, but does support Siri shortcuts, and I wanted a way to automate it in my good night scene. So I created a Siri shortcut that whenever my phone is charging between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. every day, about whenever my wife and I go to bed, then my bathroom light will automatically turn off. And to preserve the battery life on my phone, whenever my phone gets to 80%, then the last shortcut of the day turns off the outlet that has powered my phone so it stops charging. Let me know some of your favorite Siri shortcut ideas down in the comments below, and thank you for watching.